So in today's video, I want to talk about how to invest safely in the stock market. So recently, you have seen that the stock market can be very irrational and volatile. And recently, the one that made it to the headlines was this company called GameStop. Well, we have probably heard about that. And the funny thing is that for GameStop, it basically don't have any fundamentals at all to support its price. And it's really because Reddit users have went in to buy more of this stock and as a result, its stock price has rise tremendously. And now if you really take a look at this stock, on the 13th of Jan, it closed at $31.40. And this is the date that actually started to have a lot of trading volume. And assuming that you put $5,000 and you successfully timed the market and sells off two weeks later on the 27th of January at the closing price of 347 then congratulations, you have successfully multiplied your investment by 11 times and you have an extra $50,000. Now, I'm not really a big fan of investing into a single stock because it takes a lot of time to research and monitor the stock market. And you see, things like this don't come very often. And it's really because of speculation and irrational behavior that help this stock to go up by a lot. But if you are really thinking of investing in the stock market, hoping to achieve similar returns, then the chances are that's not going to happen that often. And for some people, seeing such a stock go up and down so much in a day can also scare you off. And if you take a look at the most recent price of GameStop, it's only trading at $63, many times below its all-time high of $483. Now imagine if you have went in at $483 when it was at its all-time high, it had a lot of buzz and news about it, and seeing your portfolio erasing more than 80% of its value. Now if you're looking at investing into the stock market this way, then is not a true representation of how investing should be. Now, even the Monetary Authority of Singapore recently published an article saying about the risk of stock trading fueled by online discussion. And it's really very speculative if you only based on trends that are happening on online forums. While stock market investing can be really profitable and people are getting good returns out of it to grow their wealth, it can also work the other way where you lose all your money in the stock market. So it's really important to understand how to invest safely in the stock market so that you are able to grow your wealth consistently over the years. So now let's break down investing into the stock market into two areas. The first area is trading. Trading is the attempt to make money from a stock price movement through buying and selling it, usually a short time frame within days or weeks. Whereas on the other hand, investing shouldn't be confused with trading. It is studying the market trends, analyzing the company's financial statements, business model, and then putting the money in. So you see, these two ways of putting your money into the stock market is really different. And most people actually confuse stock market trading with stock market investing. Now generally, when you look at a stock, there's two things that you can look at. The first thing is its price action, and the second thing is its fundamentals, its business model and all that. And if you take a look at this example of GameStop, yes, there's a lot of price action, you know, it's very volatile, it went up to its high of $483. However, on the other hand, it doesn't truly reflect its fundamental, right? Its price action and fundamental is really very disconnected. And you see, in its business model and its revenue and profit, it doesn't really deserve the kind of price that it has been getting. So if you want to invest safely in the stock market, you need to pay more attention to its fundamentals than the price action. Now, I'm not saying that the price of a stock is not important, but you see, in the example of GameStop, its price is at this level, but its fundamental, its value is only at about this level. So over time, the price will actually come down to meet what is really valued. So only when you know the fundamentals, then you know whether or not your investments are safe. Because if looking at price action alone, it doesn't tell you anything. And the worst case scenario is that when you look at a stock that perhaps has been priced at $10 over the past 5 years with very little volatility, and all of a sudden, it may have plunged by 20% and you think that, hey, look, it would be a good discount and it's a good time to go in. Now, I also want to talk about the three strategies that you can use in order to invest safely in a stock market. And the first one is position sizing. Now, position sizing refers to the number of units that can be invested into a particular security. So now let's take, for example, you have a $100,000 investment portfolio. You should put a limit as to how much a single stock can occupy in your whole portfolio. So for example, at any one point in time, you do not want to have more than 5% of your investment portfolio 
portfolio in a single company, which means that for this $100,000 investment portfolio, you need to have at least 20 different securities to spread out the risk. And the second way is to look at the correlation of the assets in your investment portfolio. Now, what does correlation mean? Right? If one of your assets goes up by 10% and at the same time, another asset goes up by 10% as well, then this means that both assets are perfectly positive correlated. So if you have a portfolio that is positively correlated, then the good news is that when one goes up, all goes up and you make more money. However, the bad thing is that when one goes down, all will go down as well. And as a result, you tend to have a very volatile portfolio. Now, this usually happens when you concentrate all your investments into perhaps a single sector or a single country. The third way, which is also the simplest way, which is to invest a fixed percentage of your total portfolio into the stock market. So for example, you only invest 50% of your money into the stock market and the other 50% you place it into a bond, bond fund or Singapore government bond, which could be capital protected or very low risk. And on the other hand, you only risk 50% of your portfolio. And in the instance where you totally lose 50% of your portfolio, at least you still have the other 50% of your portfolio held in very safe instruments. So those are the three ways that you can invest safely in a stock market. And it's really important to have some form of risk management in place so that you don't subject yourself to too much market volatility. Now, the worst situation that you don't want to be in is that you only realize that you are taking on too much risk when you need to sell off your portfolio due to emergencies. So now the question of the day, which method have you already used to invest safely in a stock market and which method do you think works best for you? Do comment down below. I would love to hear from you. Thanks for watching everyone. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Do help me to hit the thumbs up button below. It really means a lot to me. And if you are new here, do consider subscribing and turning on that notification bell so that you will be updated whenever I post a new video on investing and personal finance. And I'll see you guys on the next one.